Here's my group of 30 cells that I've got hooked up to the Smart BMS, which has a uh, supposedly 40 amp discharge ca capacity. Uh, and and I'm, I'm uh, bringing him over here. I got my little electric truck out there and I'm charging the truck by running the power off of those through some light bulbs for a, a little bit of a load to keep it from over discharging and I'm also got my solar panels here so I can go from 2.4 amps or I can take the uh, the light bulbs out of the circuit and plug directly in and charge at about 20 but what happens at that rate as you can see from my picture here, I have certain batteries that are going empty and turning off the BMS. Anyway, I'm going to put this guy back on low discharge. Maybe when the sun is down a little bit, I'll be able to... Uh, charge a little higher. Right now I got to go through those light bulbs. So the other thing I found out while looking at this is look at this. It has a data logging. This in itself seems like it's worth the BMS for it. So I can look back over uh, and see the battery uh, Average voltage, current, and battery voltage. Huh. Battery series, 19. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so as you can see, I was just doing a charge and a discharge over here. Oh, and you do it this way to make it bigger, time-wise. There we go. So here's where we were just now. Get that thing out of the way. And as we can see, we were discharging below 20 amps. That's the, the yellow line. And the voltage dropped a few times and then the whole thing of course released and then came back so this is this is a nice tool